Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. Today I will show you how to create a cool looking stream screen animation inside of After Effects. I already made few stream screen animations on Valorant. So I think why only Valorant streamers should have all the fun. So this animation is for everyone who wants to stream. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Give it a name you like. After that, let's create a new composition. But make the duration 2 seconds. And name it Saber Lines. Create a solid layer. By the way we are going to use Saber plugins here which is absolutely free plugin from Video Copilot. Let's search Saber, and apply it on the layer. First, open render settings, and make composition settings transparent. Change the end size value to 30%. So it looks like a beam. Now, change the start offset value, and add a keyframe. Then go to 1 second, and change its value to 0. At the same point, add a keyframe on end offset. Then go to 2 seconds, and change the end offset value to 0. After that, it should look like this. Now, go back to main composition, and bring that Saber Lines composition here. Then select the layer, go to Time, and enable Time Remapping. Alt plus click on this stopwatch icon, and type Loop Out Duration. Then stretch the layer all the way to your timeline. By doing this, the animation will be in loop till the end of your timeline, just like this. Now, select the layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Then just drag the starting point to one second. So it look like this. I hope you understand what I am trying to say. Alright, now select the both layer, and place it like this. Then press Ctrl plus D to make copies of these layers, and place it like this. Keep doing this, until you get your desired design. Try to use different size to give it a randomness. I am using 6 copies of that, you can do how many you want. Just place it in a way that looks good to you. Now select all the layer, and pre-compose them. Let's call it right side lines. Now select the layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make another copy of this. Then right click one of them, go to transform, and select flip horizontal. And change its name to left side lines. Then select both layers, and search tritone effect. Apply it on both layers. And change the color you like. After all, it should look like this. Now pre-compose these both layers again. Give it a name you like.
Then press Ctrl plus D to make a copy of this. Enable 3D for both layers. Let's change the name of bottom layer. Name it a reflection. Now press R to open rotation. And change the X axis value 180 degree. Also you can change the position something like this. Then search for CC Fast Blur, and apply it on the layer. Change Blur Dimension to Vertical, and increase the Blur Radius to near about 150. You can place it like this also. But I like the previous one most. Then we are going to use a texture for the floor. So drag and drop this on the composition. Place it on the top of reflection layer. Also enable 3D layer. Now change the x-axis rotation value something like this. Adjust the position a little bit. Then pre-compose the texture layer. Double click to open the layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for motion tile. Apply it on the layer, and increase the output height value a little bit. Then search for brightness and contrast, and apply it on the layer. Change the brightness to minus 120, and contrast value is 70. Then come back to main composition and create an adjustment layer. Place it under the texture composition. Then search for compound blur effect. And apply it on the layer. Change the blur layer to floor texture layer. Then just hide the floor texture layer. Now if we increase the maximum blur value, you can change the effect on floor. Let's keep it like this for now. Hit spacebar to ramp review this. Cool. That looks awesome to me. Let's add a solid layer for background. Search for 4 color gradient effect. Apply it on the layer. And change the colors you like. I am using these colors to match the whole theme. You can choose your own color. Just make sure it looks good at the end. You can use these points to blend the colors, according to your need. That looks good to me. Let's type your text. I am not using any text animations here. If you want to add text animation here, then you see my text animation videos. I already made a lots of different text animations. Let's create a new composition with 2 seconds duration, like previous one. Let's type a text. Press D to bring opacity, add a keyframe here, then go to 1 second, and change the value to 0, then go to 2 seconds, and change its value to 100 again. So it will look like this. Go back to main composition. 
and bring that here. Right click on the layer, go to time, and enable time remapping. Alt click on this stopwatch icon, and type loop out duration. And stretch the layer to the end. And it will keep animating like this to the end of your timeline. Let's adjust the position and scale a little bit. And it's done. To give it an awesome finishing touch, create solid layer, with white background. Go to Effects and Presets, and search for CC Starburst Effect. Apply it on the layer. Change the speed value to 0 0.10. And place it on the top of the background layer, so it does not affect the floor. To change the particle colors, add fill effect on the layer. And change the color you like. Also you can change the size from here. After this, it's complete, and ready for use. By the way you can add countdown timer, your name, or more details here. It will be long to show all this here. So I wrap up here. Let me know if you want me to show those things here. Thank you for watching this video, I will catch you guys in the next video, till then stay safe, and keep exploring new things.